we're going to look at how to complete a function table. Complete the table f of x equals negative 3x plus 7. So one thing to notice here in terms of notation, f of x means the function of x. And when you see f of x is equal to negative 3x plus 7, it means the exact same thing as if they had said y is equal to negative 3x plus 7. It's just written in function notation. And you can tell, another way you can tell this is that f of x is written in the y column of our table. So they're really just highlighting when they use this notation that f of x is the answer you get when you plug a particular number in place of x. So if you want to work with it as f of x, you can do that. If you want to think of it as y equals negative 3x plus 7, it's the same thing either way. And what I'm going to do to complete the missing values in my table is I'm going to substitute each number in for x. So the first number in my column is negative 5 for x. So I'm going to show you guys with function notation. That means I would write it like this. The function of negative 5, that just means that that's the number I'm substituting for x, is equal to, and then I need to sub it in on the other side. So negative 3, in place of x, we're going to put negative 5 plus 7. And now we're just going to work this out to see what is the f of negative 5. Okay, well negative 3 times negative 5 gives me positive 15. And then, of course, I'm going to add 7 to that. And that tells me that the function of or the f of negative 5 is equal to 22. And then we're just going to keep going, and we're going to do the same thing for the other numbers in the table. Now, if that function notation really threw you off, if you're like, what are all those Fs? What does all this mean? Then you can choose, if you want to, to use the, the regular Y notation instead. It means the same thing. Once I realize that the F of X is the same thing of Y, if I wanted to just use Y instead of the F of X, I could write it like this. Y is equal to negative 3X plus 7, and then it's just going to look a little bit more like what we're used to doing. Okay, so this time the number that I'm plugging in for x is 6, right? That's the next value in my table. So I'm going to say y is equal to negative 3, we're putting the 6 in for x, plus 7. Negative 3 times 6 is going to give me negative 18. And then I'm adding 7 to that to get negative 11. Okay, we've got two more values in our table, and again, you can choose if you want to use the, the function notation or if you want to just use y. I think it looks a little simpler using y, so let's keep going that way just to make it as easy as possible here. So we've got negative 3. We're putting a negative 3 this time, right? That's the next value in our table in place of x. And following my order of operations, I need to multiply before I can add. So negative 3 times negative 3 gives me positive 9. And then I need to add 7 to that. And that's going to give me 16. Okay, and then I have one more value in my table, negative 6. So in place of my x, I'm going to substitute a negative 6.
negative 3 times negative 6 is positive 18, and then I need to add 7 to that. And that's going to give me 25. Complete the table, f of x equals 5x minus 4. Okay, well remember the function of x is the same thing as saying y, so we're essentially just filling in the y values for this equation. And again, you can write it with function notation, or you can simply think of it as y is equal to 5x minus 4. Okay, the first value in my table is negative 8, so I'm going to substitute negative 8 in for x. Okay, 5 times negative 8 is negative 40, and then we still have to subtract our 4. So that's going to give me negative 44. Our next value is 0, so when I substitute that in, I'm going to say 5 times 0 minus 4. And of course, 5 times 0 is just 0, so we have 0 minus 4, or negative 4. When I go to substitute 7, right, that's my next value in the table, we've got 5 times 7 minus 4. Five times seven is 35, and then we still have to subtract the four, and that's gonna give us 31. My last value in the table is two, so I'm gonna substitute two in place of x. Five times two gives us 10, minus four is gonna leave us with six. Okay, remember we said the function of x is the same idea as calling it y. So we have the equation y is equal to 4x minus 4. To substitute 9, it's going to look like this. And then, of course, we multiply. 4 times 9 is 36. And then we have to subtract our 4. And 36 minus 4, that's going to leave me with 32. Now, if you're happy putting y in place of f of x, you can keep doing that. I'm going to show the function notation just a few more times for anybody who wanted to see that again. If you're using the function notation, you would simply plug whatever number you're putting in place of x in for x in both of those. So the next value in my table is 3. So I would call this the f of 3, which just means I'm substituting 3 in for x. And then I would do the same thing I've been doing on the other side. Put the 3 in for x and work this out. So the only difference is I'm calling this the f of x or the f of 3 instead of calling it simply y. Again, it's just highlighting it's the answer you get when you sub in 3. 4 times 3 gives me 12. And then we have to subtract 4. So I can say the function of 3 or the f of 3 is equal to 8. All 
right, so since we're getting the hang of this, I'm going to use that function notation on the last two just so you get used to seeing it. This time it's going to be the f of 7, since that's the number we're going to be plugging in for x. And 7's going in place of x. And then of course, this is just notation. f of 7 just means the answer we get when we substitute 7. We multiply before we subtract, so 4 times 7 gives me 28. And then I still need to subtract the 4. So the f of 7, or the function of 7, is 24. And now we're on to the last value in our table. We're going to set up the f of negative 6, which of course means we're substituting negative 6 in place of x. Okay, so we're going to multiply. 4 times negative 6 gives me negative 24. And then I still need to subtract the 4. And that's going to give me negative 28. 